and welcome back everyone to the video series dedicated show on MTV that desperately needs to get this cast an exercise bag. Like, what is this? This is a medicine ball duct taped to a tree that they're hitting? MTV really budgeting on this season. But that is correct, we're talking about The Challenge Season 39, Episode 6. And we have quite a bit to talk about, so let's start off where last episode left off, and that was Jordan winning against Kieran, Kieran being sent home, and 10k is taken out of the prize fund and given to Jordan. And coming back to the challenge house, it is a somber atmosphere. The whole cast heads are swirling about what just happened in the first elimination of the chaos portion. 10k was taken from their prize fund, as well as now, people are worried and trying to think of What's to come next? They're going from the control phase where they have all the control that they would want to now having basically hardly any control. The only control you're given is if you win the daily challenge, win into power, get to nominate somebody for elimination, and you keep yourself safe. There are no guarantees if you don't win the daily challenge. You could be either nominated by whoever wins, you could be the house vote, and then there is the draw. So this adds a new dimension to the game, as well as lives up to the chaos moniker that TJ gave it. Now this week's episode is all about Nari. She is everywhere in this episode. We see her talking with Horacio, and they're really connecting in the beginning of this episode. Then we jump to a mini alliance between Jay, Michelle, Asaf, and Nariz, and they deem themselves the Fantastic Four, and they even make up a new handshake with each other. Those four players are working with every side of the house, but I guess that they are solidifying that these four players are going to have each other's backs no matter what. What? Speaking of Michelle, we wake up the next morning and we see a conversation between her and Corey L where Michelle apologizes to Corey L for being so angry with him in last week's episode. Just a small recap, Michelle was partnered up with Asaf, then Corey L nominated Asaf for elimination and that sent Michelle into a spiral having a Michelle down panicking about what that meant for her game, and she jumped on Coriel, being super angry with him, thinking that he jeopardized her game in some aspect when that wasn't the case at all. They're hoping that this can mend the fences between Coriel and the alliance that was established early on in this season, but only time will tell. Now it's time for everybody to don their challenge gear, head down to meet up with TJ at a mud pit for this week's daily challenge called Bingo Bango, you heard me correct. They named this daily challenge Bingo Bango. What I surmise is that this was like the final daily challenge that they had to name in the writer's room. And they were just like, I don't know. We've named like 20 of these already. Just name it Bingo Bango. Send the name off to the graphics team and let's head out of here. This daily challenge will be ran in three teams. TJ will drop a ball from a giant slide that will land in the mud pit and he will drop only one ball at a time. Once he releases the ball, one member from each team will jump into the mud pit, try to grab the ball and bring it to their side. The first team to get five numbers in a row will get bingo, win into power and win into safety. And TJ here tries to play mind games with everybody saying that the winning team will have to nominate one contender, not specifying at the beginning of this challenge whether they're gonna nominate a man or a woman, just so they can keep the competitive edge going for everybody, no matter which ball is dropped. So who's in these three teams? We have the red team made up of Berna, Colleen, Emmanuel, Horacio, Kylan, and Zara. The blue team is made up of Asaf, Callum, Ed, Michelle, Nerese, and Raven. And the turquoise team has Big T, Corey L, James J, Melissa, Mariah, and Olivia. We hear early on in the team confessionals that the red team and the blue team will be working with each other because the game plan is everybody has their eyes on nominating both Big T and Melissa this week. Something about their friendship, how close they are with each other. It also could be the fact that they have done so many challenge seasons where Big T has done four, Melissa has done three. There could be a multitude of reasons of why they want to nominate Big T and Melissa together. So it helps this week that Big T and Melissa are on the same team, are on the Turquoise team. So as long as Turquoise doesn't win, they got the green light. Not only is the Turquoise team having to face off against two teams going against them specifically, but also two members of their team in Jay and Olivia state that they don't want to win. They're going to be doing an inside job 
to make sure that their team does not win. Olivia knows that Big T and Melissa do not have her back, so she's actively trying to make her team lose so that they could target Melissa and Big T. And Jay has his hands in too many cookie jars. If he wins into power too early, he might have to pick a side or backstab somebody that he has an alliance with, and he just does not want to do that too early. I have to say that this daily challenge was really fun to watch. Everybody seemed to give their 110%. Maybe not so much Jay and Olivia, but everybody seemed to be going in after every single ball, wrestling their hearts out, and there were some pretty decent battles. The turquoise team had to know something was up because after eight balls, blue and red both had four balls each and turquoise had zero. If they weren't skeptical at that point, well, they knew something was going on when TJ rolled down one of the balls that the blue team had and they kind of just backed off being like, we don't need it. But once they saw Melissa and Berna fighting for the one ball, that's when Narice jumped in to try to play spoiler and was wrestling Melissa, trying to get the ball away from her and to actively help Berna get the ball. This made Melissa so mad. She felt that Narice was playing a little bit dirty, getting a little too aggressive, holding Melissa down near the mud that Melissa you could tell was like waiting for the next time that she could get her revenge on Narice, which did happen. Narice's team only needed one more ball to win. Once TJ announced it and rolled the ball down, Narice ran down to the mud pit. So did Melissa, and she was grabbing Narice by the throat, pushing the ball away. The point went to the red team, and this is where we see a cheap shot from Melissa. Gives Narice a little love tap with her foot, trying to play it off like, oh, I just slipped trying to get up. Nariz calls her out. We get this argument back and forth on who was right, who was wrong, who wants to play dirty now. This is the drama that I wanted to see, and I'm so happy that we got to see some of it in this daily challenge. Now, there are two players that I feel really stood out, or at least were highlighted in the episode from this daily challenge, and that was Zara, who was quick, and she was the MVP of her team, it seems like. She can get physical if she needs to. Let her do everything. And then also... Raven is showing up and showing out here. She was shown to go into the mud pit, get physical, get dirty, and to get those balls. And I think that Raven is really impressing me over the course of this season, not only just winning eliminations, but also doing a great job in these daily challenges. But alas, it was the red team of Berna, Colleen, Emanuel, Horacio, Kylan, and Zara who win, get bingo, and then TJ puts them on the spot saying that they have to nominate a woman right here, right now. Colleen wants to kick things off, saying that she wants to nominate Melissa. Emmanuel and Berna jump on that hype train, while Kylan is like, I'm thinking Raven. Kylan knows that if Melissa's name is said, then Big T is going to be nominated right next to her. The plan has already been put into place. This has been talked about. This has been strategized. Everybody basically knows the game plan once Melissa or Big T is nominated, the other one's going right up next to him. TJ finally puts the pressure on him. Who is the vote? It comes down to a vote in front of everybody where Colleen, Berna, and Emmanuel stake the claim that they would like Melissa to go into the elimination. Kylan votes for Raven. Norris does some strategic Spanish to where only her and Horacio know what's being said. And she says, Raven is on our side. You can trust her. Push for Melissa. So Horacio finally votes for Melissa to be nominated and Zara jumps on there. Five to one, Melissa is nominated. And coming back to the challenge house, Big T and Melissa feel like they were completely sabotaged, which they were. Now they're trying to figure out how can we ensure that Big T isn't nominated right next to Melissa. This is the time where everybody gets on their nice gear, their night gear, heading down to the bar where we start things off very spicy, where we see some uh, suggestive dancing happening, including some from Horacio and Norris. And Horacio is kind of coming out of his shell a little bit, kind of bearing it all for Norris. Some main plot points that happen in this bar scene, we have Raven, who is worried of being the house vote, which everybody's telling her, girl, just calm down, you know? We got a plan, and the plan is going to perfection. Melissa's nominated, we're gonna nominate Big T. Do not worry about it. Melissa starts the campaigning, talking to Coriel, being like, I would like the vote to be Norris. And Coriel's like, you know, she has a lot of friends. Uh, somebody else who was nominated to go into elimination and voted in already, Raven, maybe you could do something better with that. So 
Now Melissa's thinking, all right, now I gotta change the game plan. Callum talks to Asaf about how the international players are getting targeted and thrown in over and over and over again. And Callum wants to start taking some shots at the Americans. We have Melissa and Norris talking with each other, maybe trying to bury the hatchet at first, but that does not happen whatsoever as this whole scene ends with them yelling at each other, Norris is walking away, nothing gets resolved. And it feels like a nice rivalry pair possibly for the future. Come on, let's speak it into existence, everybody. But we get back to the challenge house where Melissa and Big T are talking and Melissa says that it's a no-go on Norris, but maybe Raven could be our best option. We see a conversation between Norris and Horacio and they talk about how they truly feel about one another. Horacio moves at a snail's pace, but we can see the budding relationship forming between these two. Then we see Asaf telling Jay everything Callum has said, and this puts a giant target on Callum's back with Jay. But again, this is a women's elimination, so we're gonna cap that off right now as we get to the next morning, where we see Raven, Michelle, Norris, Olivia, are worried now about Kylan because of everything that's going on with Melissa. Where is Kylan's head at? And then we get to more campaigning from Melissa to ensure that Big T isn't nominated. Some people are saying, yeah, I got your back. You don't have to worry. I won't say Big T's name, but we find out that that is all talk when we get to the deliberation. Melissa and Big T try to pull out the heartstrings, have a good speech, try to flip the house and not saying Big T's name, but it absolutely means Jack diddly. Big T votes Raven to start things off and everybody just avalanches on Big T. Even Melissa, who is the last vote, just says, fine, I'll vote for Big T because what's the point? Things get emotional once the deliberation is over. So all of that campaigning and all those talks that Melissa had trying to get numbers on her side and even people saying that they had their backs just wasn't the case at all. But now it's time for Melissa and Big T to don their challenge gear, to go down to the arena to meet up with TJ, who has yet another champion up his sleeve. Last week, we got Jordan, who was the reigning world champion. And what better way to kick off the women's side of the chaos portion than having the current reigning champion herself, Kaz. I'll say it, a little bit more of a tempered response from the crowd with Kaz walking in than say when Jordan walked in last episode, Kaz has to pick a pole to pull in the draw. She pulls the far right one, the same one that Jordan pulled last time, and it says Big T, which Big T really wanted to go into the elimination this week. We have Kaz going up against Big T in this week's elimination called Loaded Barrel. Players will be strapped into a barrel, have to roll around the arena ring, collecting their puzzle pieces, taking it back to their circle. Once they collect all their puzzle pieces, they get out of the barrel and put a puzzle together. The first player to put their puzzle together will win this elimination. Big T can stay in this game and keep the prize fund where it stays. Or if Kaz were to win, then Big T is eliminated and another 10K is deducted from the prize fund. Now, as I mentioned, Kaz is a strong competitor, a two-time champion. She has experience in winning the challenge. But what she doesn't have experience in is eliminations. In the two seasons that she won, she's only seen one elimination combined in those two seasons, one elimination, and she was partnered up with Jordan in that elimination. She's never faced an elimination by herself. Going up against a champ can be a very big mental hurdle, but Big T has more experience in eliminations. She's already won an elimination this season, and it seemed like she was way better in this elimination than Kaz. Big T had the strategy down of just collecting all the puzzle pieces in one area, then trying to push them over to the designated area to then unstrap out of her barrel and put the puzzle together. She got all of her puzzle pieces first. She got out of the barrel first. She started working on her puzzle first. Granted, the edit made it look like the two women were seconds apart from each other, but Big T looked like she was in control Calm, cool, and collected the whole time. Kaz is strong, Kaz is a winner, but she wasn't deemed the winner tonight as Big T was able to win her second elimination on the season. And I have to say, I was very impressed with Big T's performance here. Before the elimination, she was putting on her lip gloss, not worried about a thing. She took care of business when in the elimination, and she came out of the elimination feeling more confident than ever. Again, if I had to put my money on anybody in these upcoming eliminations, I'm sure I would have more faith 
and more optimism on the champ side of winning each and every elimination, but it doesn't surprise me that Big T won against Kaz. She may have gotten into her own head once the barrel was not moving the way she wanted it to, and this was her first solo elimination where Big T was able to take care of business, and I really am impressed with Big T's performance over the course of the season so far. But that is it for this week's video on The Challenge Season 39, Battle for a New Champion, Episode 6. What did you think about this episode? Let me know down in the comment section below. What did you think about the Daily Challenge? What do you think about the elimination? Are you impressed with Big T's performance in the elimination against a two-time challenge champion in Kaz? How do you think the house will react with Big T winning back into the game? And who do you think is the next target for everybody heading into a guy's day next week or what we think is a guy's day next week. Let me know down in the comment section below. I want to hear what you have to say. I also want to give a special shout out. Thank you to everyone who supports me over at patreon.com slash angelcakevids. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your generosity. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you to everyone who is watching this video up to this point. I'll be back really, really soon with more Challenge 39 content, more challenge content, more content in general. But until then, peace.